Today, I am Jamaica Rasketa from Great Dot Turquoise. Today, we will gonna do an experiment showing one of the factors affecting the rate of reaction, temperature. To do this experiment, we will gonna need 3 glass jars, cold water, tap water, hot water, and powdered coffee, and a measuring spoon. Let's start by preparing 3 identical jars. Fill 3 jars with water, 1 with cold, 1 with tap water, and 1 with hot water. Take a look at the jars for a moment. The only difference should be the water temperature. Do you believe that the temperature of the water would affect what happens when the powdered coffee is added to each jar? Let's see. Now, in each jar, let's put one half teaspoon of powdered coffee to see what happens. You'll notice right away that the powdered coffee reacts differently in each container. When you observe the powdered coffee in the water, you will find that it behaves differently depending on the temperature of the water. Even though the glasses of water appear to be the same, the difference in the temperature causes the molecules that make up the water to behave differently. Matter molecules move faster when it is warmer because they have more thermal energy and slower when it is colder because they have less thermal energy. In this experiment, the molecules in the hot water move much faster than the molecules in the cold water. When powdered coffee is mixed in water, it begins to blend with the water. Since the molecules are moving quickly due to their increased thermal energy, the powdered coffee can mix the fastest in the hot water. When these fast-moving molecules move, they force the powdered coffee molecules around, allowing them to spread more quickly. Since the molecules are moving more slowly due to their lower thermal energy, the powdered coffee in tap water can take longer combined with the water. Finally, since the molecules are moving slower due to a drop in thermal energy, the powdered coffee in cold water can take a long time to blend with the water. This is all about this experiment. I hope you enjoyed watching it and gained knowledge. Thank you! Usually, a rise in temperature of 10 degrees Celsius doubles the reaction rate, and the rate of a chemical reaction increases with the increasing temperature. As the temperature increases, collision between atoms and molecules become faster, resulting to build up more energy. The increased kinetic energy will equal to or exceed the activation energy resulting to more collision giving rise to a reaction.